Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. It was just a line in a news article about an event in Washington, but you know, it has bugged me ever since I read it. It describes the week leading up to the holiday we call Easter as a time to, quote, celebrate the life and death of Jesus Christ. No, it's not. At least that's not all of it. President's Day remembers the life and death of George Washington and Abraham Lincoln and their legacy. But this Sunday through Saturday, known by many as Holy Week, has no real meaning at all, if not for the Sunday that follows. Altogether, it's a time to celebrate the life of Jesus and to commemorate his death, but also to share with the entire world the life-changing news of his resurrection. Washington, it's good to honor the father of our country, but he's still dead. Lincoln served our country in a time of great struggle, but he's not here either. Jesus came to the earth at precisely the proper time, showed us how he desired for us to live. Then, then, he blasted open a pathway for us to escape the penalty of death. He, he built a bridge for us to cross the divide. He is our advocate with God an atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for our sins, but for the sins of the whole world. Now, I have no idea whether the reporter who wrote that incomplete sentence in the article meant anything theological by it, but it certainly got me to reflect on what it's really all about, and how history shows us how Jesus stands apart from every other famous person in history, and why we celebrate each Resurrection Sunday. <laughs>